didn't work. What hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're gonna break down all the little details you might have missed in the trailer for the most recent Disney film, Wish. Even though the trailer is only two minutes long, there are plenty of tiny details that you might have overlooked. From references to older Disney classics to Easter eggs that promise a different Disney future. Let's get started, shall we? <laughs> Finally, Disney is releasing something new, a refreshing project that will hopefully have a major influence on the future of the company's films. Fans begged Disney to create something like this for a long time because let's face it, remakes and reboots are not making us so happy. Yeah, there have been some decent remakes over the years, but most of them are, well, not so great. Wish is something different, something we've all been waiting for. Based on the trailer, Wish includes a lot of Easter eggs and references to old classics. The film takes place in a kingdom where a young heroine named Asha wishes upon a star asking for guidance. Yes, Disney uses the already familiar wish upon a star storyline, but don't worry, the story is pretty original. So when she asks for guidance, a star, an actual star named Star, yeah, they could have given a different name to the character, but that's fine, falls down to the kingdom of Rosas and assists Asha in the upcoming events. As previously mentioned, Wish is a different Disney project because of several reasons. First, there is the unique story. Then we have different animation style, which is referred to as a hybrid, because Wish is actually 2D and 3D animated. Asha will be voiced by the incredible, talented Ariana, who played Anita in the 2021 West Side Story. Alan, who is a voice in the movie Moana, is set to voice a goat named Valentino. The most talked about thing in the film is, however, the many Easter eggs that can be seen in the trailer. If we may managed to catch so many easter eggs in a single two minute long trailer, imagine how many easter eggs we'll catch in the movie. On April 27th, 2023, Walt Disney Animation Studios shared the teaser trailer for Wish. Where wishes come true. Where your heart's desire can become a reality. At the beginning of the trailer, you can hear King Magnifico, played by Chris Pine, saying, Imagine a place where wishes come true, before adding, All you have to do is give your wish to me. And then we're introduced to our adorable protagonist, Asha, played by Ariana. She is, as mentioned before, wishing on a star. Not long after, she meets Star, which grants Asha's goat the ability to speak. If you still have doubts about whether this film will be good, the fact that Wish will be directed by the Frozen director, Chris Buck and Raya, the last dragon story artist, Fawn, might help you lose those doubts. Wish is set to come out in November 2023. I wish. Now, before we get through all the Easter eggs and tiny details that you missed in the trailer, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to our channel, only if you're enjoying the content so far. Now, let's get back to the trailer. So, as for mentioned, the trailer starts off with a view of the Kingdom of Roses, which is, as the synopsis claims, the Kingdom of Wishes, where wishes can literally come true. The place is filled with various buildings and houses that are in different shades of blue, cream, and purple. The factual kingdom is located off the IBM. Peninsula. The land, according to Disney, is shared by Spain and Portugal. In the same shot, viewers can see a bell, which looks kind of familiar. So, where have we seen this bell before? Well, the same bell appears in The Hunchback of Notre Dame, a film released by Disney in 1996. This is actually the first reference to a Disney classic shown in the trailer. The same shot features seagulls flying around, and one of the most popular Disney films that features a seagull is, yeah, that's right, The Little Mermaid. The fact that a remake the Little Mermaid comes out May 26, 2023, proves that this is a clear reference to one of the best Disney films in the entire history of cinema. These are all the details we noticed in the first shot. Is there something we missed? The next shot features a young boy flying a kite. And again, this kite looks kind of familiar. This is because the kite resembles the kite featured in Mary Poppins. I consider this a reference to Mary Poppins, but it might be a coincidence. Let's take a closer look at the background, shall we? First, there's a man juggling and a woman playing a guitar. There are also two people dancing. The whole scenery reminds me of places, especially markets featured in Disney classics. 
Olympics. The creators might have used Beauty and the Beast and Aladdin for inspiration. What do you guys think? In the next scene, we are seeing our beloved protagonist and her goat Valentino standing on a balcony. Asha then blows out a dandelion, and if you thought this sequence looks familiar, you were right. Belle from Beauty and the Beast has already done the exact same thing. Okay, but is Asha a princess? No. The character wants to be referred to as a heroine rather than a princess. It feels like there will be a storyline that will explore Asha's identity and her freedom of choice. It also just feels like the whole princess versus heroine thing will be one of the major storylines in the film. Don't you agree? I'm talking. I am talking. Ha! Who knew my voice would be this low? In the next scene, we have our heroine and her goat looking at the castle. Perhaps this is when she meets King Magnifico. The next sequence shows her inside the castle. On the floor, there is what seems to be a representation of some sort of sun, and according to some fans, this is a reference to something only no one can remember where they have seen a similar sun before. Do you remember seeing something similar? Maybe a similar sun was featured in some old Disney classic? While we can't remember anything about the sun, we can clearly see the references to the Little Mermaid and Moana and the symbols around the sun. First, you have the trident from the Little Mermaid, and then you have Maui's hook from Moana. While in the castle, Asha gets surrounded by magical blue balls. They remind me of the lanterns featured in Tangled. In the next scene from the trailer, we finally meet King Magnifico. Apparently, he's in his own room and on the table, you can spot various bottles filled with potions. Magic potions are seen in several Disney films, such as Snow White and Alice in Wonderland. The trailer for Wish also made sure to let fans know that Magnifico is actually the villain. The evil look he gives in the trailer and the potions he owns are valid reasons for fans to believe he's the bad guy. Also, when he gives the evil look, his eyes kind of get green. Disney tends to represent villains by including green, whether it's in their eyes or the air surrounding them. Interestingly enough, the same evil look was given by the lady in the animated Cinderella movie. In the next scene, Asha and Valentino run away from the king and an evil laugh can be heard. The heroine and her loyal friend end up in a forest just like many Disney characters. And finally, Asha can be seen wishing upon a star. As for mentioned, this storyline is quite familiar because other Disney characters have also wished upon a star before. Geppetto from Pinocchio is one, and the other is Tiana from The Princess and the Frog. This is where we meet the star. Star makes a dramatic first appearance as it circles around Asha and her friend. Asha then leans back against a well that looks quite similar to the well in Snow White. When Asha runs to Star, we finally see Star's powers as she gives some flowers life. The dust released by Star looks quite similar to the one released by Tinkerbell in Peter Pan. The trailer then features shots of Valentino enjoying his time while looking up at the flying flowers. And by the end of the trailer, we can see the king as he releases the magical blue balls in front of the huge crowd of people. The camera then pans to a group of people who are, according to some fans, the Seven Dwarves. They are Asha's friends, and yeah, there are more people, but that's because the one on the left is Asha's mother, and the rest are, well, We'll find out soon. The final scene of the movie shows Asha looking up at the stars. That is all we have for today. Thanks for joining us. If you spotted any other details that we didn't mention, please let us know in the comments below and we'll see you in the next video.